Hey everyone, so in this video we're going to find the equation of the plane. So we're told that these two points lie on our plane, and we're told that our plane is parallel to the z-axis. Before we do anything, I'm going to write down the formula for the equation of a plane. The formula for the equation of a plane is a times x minus x1 plus b times y minus y1 plus c times z minus z1 equals 0. And all of this, x1, y1, z1, is an ordered triple. It's a point in space. And so we can use any of these. The only thing we need to finish this problem is a, b, c. That is a vector, right? So the normal vector is going to be n, a, b, c. So this, this is, this is perp to our plane. So perp to plane. If we find this, we're done, right? Because we can just plug in any of these numbers in here and plug in our a, b, c, and we're done. Okay, so how are we going to find this? Well, we're, we're told that there's two points on a plane. So let's think about this. If we have a plane, and we have two points on the plane, we can find a parallel vector. So this is going to give us a, a vector that's on the plane, or in particular, it's parallel to the plane. It's really what we care about. So let's find a parallel vector. I'll call it V. So given two points, how do you find a vector? You just subtract the components. Let's do this minus this. So let's do it really carefully. So negative 1 minus 4, 8 minus 2, be really careful, 8 minus 1. Okay, so this is going to be negative 1 minus 4 is negative 5. 8 minus 2 is 6. 8 minus 1 is 7. So this vector is on our plane. In particular, it's parallel to our plane. So this is a parallel vector to our plane. Okay, to our plane. We're also told our plane is parallel to the z-axis. Again, let's think in 3D here. So here's z, here's x. Here's y, right? So uh, our plane is parallel to this axis. So if we can find another parallel vector, and then we have this parallel vector, we have two parallel vectors, we can take the cross, cross product, we can get an orthogonal vector or a normal vector, and that'll be the ABC. So let's think about that. We have a parallel vector here. Our plane is parallel to the z-axis. So I'm thinking of just k hat, right? k hat is this vector here, right? It's the standard unit vector, they call it. Um, that's a little vector there, right? Pointing straight up in the direction of the z-axis. So that vector is parallel to our plane. So k hat is parallel to our plane. So in this problem, basically, what the information they're giving us is they're giving us, well, we have to figure out these parallel vectors. Now that we have these, we can find our normal vector by taking the cross product, and we'll plug everything in. Kind of tricky. All right, so let's do it. So let's do V cross uh, K. All right, so to do cross product, you write the little determinant symbol. And in the first row, you write the IJK. So IJK. And then you write this one first, because this one came first. It doesn't matter which one you do. I mean, you're going to get a different answer. But if you, do, if you do K cross V hat, you will get a different answer slightly. The signs will change. But you'll still get the same answer at the end of the problem. So it doesn't matter if you do v cross k hat or k hat, k hat cross v. So I'll write the v first because you're supposed to because it's written first. So negative 5, 6, 7, good stuff. Uh, 0, 0, 1. Kind of a fun problem. I haven't done this problem in like a year. Okay, so then, so then um, it's plus minus plus, right? So it's i hat. And then you cross these out. You cross out the corresponding row and column, okay? So, so I'm going to write that down. That's 6, 7, 0, 1. 6, 7, 0, 1. That's minus j hat. We're going to put the hat. And you cross those out. Uh, negative 5, 7, 0, 1. You see it? Negative 5, 7, 0, 1. Here we go. That's a little bit easier. Negative 5, 7, 0, 1. Beautiful stuff. Negative 5, 7, 0, 1. And then you cross these out, right? So, uh, okay, hat. oh, plus k hat. And then you cross these out. Negative 5, 6, 0, 0. So negative 5, 6, 0, 0. That's the cross product. What it does is, this is going to create a perpendicular or a normal or, or an orthogonal vector. Same thing. Perpendicular, normal, orthogonal, all the same thing. So let's see. So V, v cross k hat. That's a weak V. There we go. <laughs> um, let's see. 6. So you do this times this. Then you subtract this times this, right? So it'll be 6 minus 0, right? It'll be, I'll do it here. It'll be I hat 6 minus 0. I'll write the answer here. Uh, minus j hat, negative 5 minus 0, right? Negative 5 minus 0 plus k hat. Uh, this, is, this is a 6 here, so it's just 0 minus 0, so it's just 0. So we're going to get 6i hat uh, plus 
uh, five j hat, I believe. Yeah, five j hat. So that's going to be six i hat plus five j hat. I'm going to write that in component form. Component form. That's six five zero, right? Because it's really plus zero k hat. And there we go. There we go. That's our normal vector. Finally, right? There's our a, our b, and our c. Now we're ready to plug everything in and get the answer. So just a really quick recap. The original question was to find the equation of the plane. Uh, to find the equation of the plane, we need two things. We need a point on the plane. We need a normal vector that's called n, and the components are a, b, c. We are given two points in the plane. Using that, we found a parallel vector by subtracting them. We were told the plane was parallel to the z-axis. Uh, so if it's parallel to the z-axis, a parallel vector would be the standard unit vector k hat. So now we have two parallel vectors, b and k hat. We take the cross product. That gives us a normal vector, which is normal to our plane. So now all we do is plug this in with any of these points in here, and we have the answer. Um, I think I can squeeze it in down here. Let's see. So A, A is 6. Then we have X. And then let's use this one. So X minus 4. So we're going to use this one. X1, Y1, Z1. And then B, B is 5. So 5. And then it's uh, Y minus 2. Be really careful here. I've messed up here so many times. And then C is 0, so I'm not even going to run. I'm just going to put 0. And that's equal to 0, right? So this will be um, 6 parentheses x minus 4 plus 5 parentheses y minus 2, and that's equal to 0. And you can you could uh, distribute and collect like terms, but I'll stop here because it feels like this video has been really long, so hopefully it's not too long. And uh, I hope it made sense. This is kind of a tough problem. Uh, it's kind of fun, though, when you, when you, figure, you know, when you figure it out. So that's it.